Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video with the Roshank Redemption, and today I've got another episode of Pokemon Volt Y2 for you guys. In the last episode, we took down the final two members of the Elite Four, and this episode, we are finally going to be taking on the final battle of this game in Champion Armor. So let's go ahead and get straight into this, guys. Let's go up this epic statue portal way thingy, which is a terrible description of what it actually is, but anyways. Iris is actually a very interesting champion. I know, when I first battled her, I actually didn't really like her, but I sort of warmed up to her uh, after a little bit. I don't really like, I actually really hate her in the anime, to be honest, which is unfortunate. I feel like there are a lot of characters who I like in-game, but then when it comes to the anime, I just don't really like them. Uh, let me just actually quickly check to make sure that my Pokemon are all healed up and all, which I did do off-screen, yeah. And we have Sabo out in front, which I think is what I want, because Sabo is not going to be very useful overall, so I think we're going to start off with Sabo, see if we can pick up a couple... A couple of kills, maybe maybe one or two, which is a little bit hopeful because Sabo is very weak against Dragon types. Uh, but yeah, I don't think she's just gonna have Dragon types because she does not. Drano's changed this game such that she has a, a couple more things. Uh, but anyways, welcome challenger. I'm not sure what voice I should give her. I'm very bad with girls' voices. I'm not even gonna bother trying. I've been waiting for this. Were you expecting me to be the champion? Well, I was because I've played this game before, but here I am. Alright, so let's go ahead and battle her. It is sort of cool that she's just some kid who became the champion. I think that's very cool. In some sense, you're battling someone who's like very much like yourself, right? Because Iris is like a similar age to you in some sense. Uh, and you're battling, you're going up against her and battling her. So that is very cool. She's not my favorite champion for sure because Steven, Steven is my favorite champion. But she's way better than champions like Wallace, which I hate Wallace. I'm sorry for Wallace fans, but I dislike Wallace because he stole Steven's spot. I will say I'm not a huge fan of this music. Uh, I mean, it's not terrible. It's okay, I guess. I feel like the music could have been more epic, and that is a very strange pose. <laughs> Iris is sort of a spaz, I will say. What? Eladios? That's not fair! That No, that's not fair. I, I, I refuse to believe what is on the screen. I refuse to believe it. I refuse to believe it. That's not Eladios. It's a, it's a good bite. It's a good bite. That's what it is. I'm pretending it's a good bite. <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> I hope we can one-shot this thing, even though we can't, because it's a freaking Eladios. This won't one-shot us, I don't think. Oh god, oh, that's not fair, it has like, this is, this is not fair. That means, that means she definitely has a lot of yas. That's so not fair. Driano, that's just, that's just mean. Oh wow, we one-shot it. Damn. Here I am complaining that it's a lot of yos, and then we just go one-shot it. Good jobs. I guess I, I guess I started off with the right thing. I mean, I knew she was going to lay off with a lot of yos because I'm psychic, and that is not good. I just need, I need something that we can come in with, uh, with Robin and then just set up all over. Uh, I sort of want to try Robin here, but I just feel like it's just not a good idea. We're going to stay in, actually. We're going to stay in. Try to hit this thing with a Shadow Ball? Maybe that's not a good idea. That's actually a terrible idea because she has a Latias, too. And the uh, Sable could be useful against her Latias. Outrage. Ooh, crap. Actually, there is something I want to try, sort of. There is something I really want to try here. Okay, okay. I want to try it. It would be really funny if... Ah, no, I'm not going to do it. I was I was potentially thinking of going into Salamence, intimidating, switching out, going into Salamence again, intimidating again, and then trying to set up, which is very complicated, but I, as I'm sure you guys have noticed, that's a stupid idea. What we are going to do is we're going to freaking Swords Dance with Bisharp, because that is a good idea. That is always a good idea. Well, not always, but you know. I really wish Bisharp had Defiant. That does way too much for a resistant hit. Okay. And shoot. Uh, do I want to Sucker Punch here? The thing is, I only have one Sucker Punch left. It's definitely carrying the Earthquake, so we're gonna Sucker Punch. Yeah, we have to Sucker Punch. I Will this kill? We are plus two. It is way higher level than us, though. Oh, it has Focus Sash. Dang it, see, this is the one thing that you, I didn't want to see a Focus Sash on, to be honest. Oh, crud, okay. All right, well, we're dead. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This means that we can go into Salamence and set up. Okay, now is the time to set up. I hope she uses the full Restore. I hope to God she uses the full Restore. That would be so funny if we just swept her with Salamence, which is possible. Actually, no, she has one Pokemon, which I don't think we can we can kill in one hit, so that's unfortunate. I feel it too. Uh, I don't feel the pain of my Pokemon, so I know what you're talking about. Yes, okay, all right. It's Salamence wrecking time, people. All right, but it did snap out of confusion, which is bad. I think we'll just one-shot with the Dragon Claw, though. I'd be surprised if we didn't. Because, I mean, Black it did take a Sucker Punch from Blackbeard. This thing has good defense. This thing has very good defense. Alright, so let's go ahead and go for a Dragon Claw. I think Salamence has higher attack than Blackbeard, though, so th this will kill. This should kill. 
Well, actually, what am I saying? Sucker Punch would have killed if not for the Focus Dash. I don't know what I'm- When do I ever know what I'm saying? I feel like I don't even need to say that. Like, I'll say something that doesn't make sense, and then you guys will know, yeah, he's just spewing nonsense again. But anyways, hopefully we can at least annihilate a couple of Pokemon with Salamence here. Latias, I think we just killed this thing in one hit, to be honest. This thing has good defense, but it doesn't have great- Actually, it has very good defense. I'll take it back. It has, like, base 110 defense, which is really good, so. Hopefully we kill- Actually, does it have base 110 defense? I don't know. Its defense is not bad. Maybe it has base 90. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. We killed it in one hit. <laughs> I told you! The second Salivates learned to Dragon Dance, it's over. It's literally over. Alright, I'm making this train. I'm making the gesture that those people make in Star Wars, which is very unspecific. I might try and flash that up on screen if I remember. <laughs> that gesture is so funny. I hope I remember to do that, because that would be pretty funny. Uh, let's go ahead and go for Drag Clare. I think we one-shot this thing, too. Hydreigon is scary, though. Be careful of it. Unless it's carrying a Focus Ash, too. Which, if it is carrying a Focus Ash, that is very, very, very mean. Salamence is just annihilating everything right now. It's literally destroying everything. Alright, what next? What's gonna get wrecked next? Superior, this thing gets wrecked, too. I can wreck it with either a Fly or a Dragon Claw. Although... Will it outspeed? I don't think it'll outspeed. I'd be surprised if it did. Yeah, okay. I think it just dies to one dragon. This is going to be a very anticlimactic video at this rate, which is both good and bad, I suppose. Mostly good, though. All right, bye-bye, Sir. <laughs> Salamence is just wrecking everything. This isn't fair. This isn't even fair. This, this video is going to be like 10 minutes at this rate. Dragonite? Oh, this thing probably has multi-scale. I don't think we can kill this thing in one hit, so I believe our sweep stops here, which is unfortunate. All right. Her last Pokemon I'm very afraid of, though. Oh, wait. This is her last Pokemon. Wait. I'm very confused. I guess the trainer log was wrong. I swear to- The trainer log told me she had a Feraligator. I guess not. That's why I was so- That's why I was thinking, you know, Feraligator would stop our sweep. But I guess not, because- Yes! The Bright Powder! Yes! Oh my gosh, Robin just annihilated Iris! This isn't even funny! I'm laughing, but th this isn't even funny! We, we literally just sent in Salamence and Dragon Dance and then killed like five of her Pokemon. And that epic Bright Powder miss though. Why are champion battles always so crazy with me? I remember my champion battle on Light Platinum. I, sur uh, I, had a, I had a focus band, I think, on my Toxic Rogue. And I survived to hit three times in a row, which I'm not sure if that was some sort of glitch or some sort of luck. But anyways, more than that, why do people say they're happy after losing? But I just don't understand that. You should not be happy. You should be upset. You should be upset. I know, I'm a very competitive person sometimes, so... I just don't understand these plebeians and they're feeling happy after after losing. I don't know why I said plebeian, but <laughs> plebeian's a funny word. Okay. This is very over the top. <laughs> Alright, well, we finally, we've finally beaten the game, which is pretty crazy. It took me, I'm nine minutes into this recording, and it, we finished that battle in like literally like, like five minutes overall. If you don't count, you know, the stuff at the beginning with the introduction and all, which is crazy. Salamence just beasted there, and Salamence deserves it. Salamence has been getting a little bit less use in this Elite Four, I feel. You're excellent kind trainer. Wait, did we use Sanji at all? If if we didn't use Sanji, I feel very bad. I don't think we used Sanji at all. But, well, I think we used it once, actually. We didn't use Sanji very much, though, which is unfortunate. All right, guys, we're going to put our Pokemon in here, and we're finally going to be recognized as a champion officially. To the trainer standing before me and the Pokemon at your side, your beautiful bond has grown strong through battle. In order to make this bond an internal treasure, your name shall be recorded here. You know, it's always at this moment that I just start to feel, like, sad. Sad that, you know, a playthrough is over. Whenever whenever I, you know, get to this point, and you put the Pokemon in the in the thing, and, you know, you get recognized as champion, it's just, it's always sort of a sad moment. But, alright, let's go ahead and recap our Pokemon here, which, unfortunately, they're on the bottom screen. So, first we have Sabo the Chandelure, and then, uh, next we have Sa- It's going too fast for me to actually say anything. I'll, I'll say, I'll say a few words about our team after this. See, this is why people always tell me, Rohan, you should really include the bottom screen. Because right now, it's showing everything on the bottom screen. So, I apologize for that, guys. You're, just, you're probably just seeing meaningless stuff at the top. So, my bad. Then we have Boa. Bo Boa actually didn't really do much this Elite Four. I don't think we used it that much. I was saying that Boa was going to be a main player, which I thought it was going to be. But it turns out that Salamence just wrecked everything too hard for, like, you know, Boa to actually do anything.
All right, folks, and that is pretty much going to do it for this entire Let's Play of Pokemon Volt Y2. Overall, the LP had a ton of problems uh, with regards to glitches and all, but it, it was an, a very fun LP. I would honestly say this LP is the, by far the LP that I, that I enjoyed the most because I feel like I've grown a ton as a YouTuber during this LP, um, and I've, I've been getting to interact with you guys a ton during this LP, which has just been really awesome. It's just been really awesome making these videos for you guys and being able to play through this game for you guys. And this game, this game, uh, both Pokemon Volt Y2 and Y2 in general, both, both the hacked version and the original version are great games. They're great games. With regards to the original Y2, I feel like it really is a diamond in the rough type game because people always overlook it. A lot of people say, you know, fifth generation isn't great. You know, white and black, black and white and their sequels aren't great great games, which I honestly cannot disagree with more. I mean, you know, a lot of people like to knock on the Pokemon designs, but I think the Pokemon designs are just, just phenomenal in some cases. Obviously, there are some screw-ups, like, like the Ice Cream Cone Pokemon, I'm not gonna lie, is not one I like all that much, but Pokemon like Chandelure, Pokemon like Haxorus, Pokemon like Reshiram and Zekrom are just unbelievable, and Kyurem too, I like Kyurem as well, um, but yeah, th those are all great Pokemon, and for that reason, I honestly feel like Gen 5 did a ton of great things well, and the fact that it's overlooked as a generation is, is just unfortunate, um, but yeah, guys, it's been a blast playing through this. And also, Drayano did a phenomenal job, an absolutely phenomenal job with the additions to this game. Um, the stuff he added was, was great. Uh, made the game much more playable, much more enjoyable overall. Um, and if you if you guys are on the fence as to whether you want to try out this game or not, I would highly recommend it. Uh, with regards to getting this hack, getting this hack is very difficult. Getting a clean version that isn't glitched out is very difficult, so I actually might not recommend playing this hack. I might not recommend playing Volt Y2, but if you guys ever want to play Y2, definitely go for it. I would definitely recommend it, because Y2 is honestly one of my favorite Pokemon games of all time. It's a very long game, actually. It's a very Even though this LP was short, because of all the glitches in part, but because, because of other re reasons as well, um, it's a, it's a very long game, and I like that. I think it's good that it's long, because, you know, Pokemon games have tended to be short in the past, I feel. Like, I feel like 3rd gen just went by so quickly, but, you know, 2nd gen lasted a very long time. This this game, of course, lasted a very long time. Um, and also, the prequels are great, too. The prequels are phenomenal games. Uh, I think the plot of the prequels is the best plot by far in any Pokemon game, which I know Pokemon games aren't about the plot, ultimately, but at the same time, they, they did a great job. All the stuff that happens at the end with the, with the Elite Four there... Um, Great job. Um, but yeah, I guess it's time now to move on to my next LP. And I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. Uh, I'm not going to tell you that. The reason why is because I'm, I'm going to have like an official reveal video uh, at some point later. But I do want to give a bit of a hint here. And the hint is that it's going to be a fourth generation game. Um, with regards to which one, I will not reveal that. But it is going to be a fourth generation game. And it is going to be a vanilla game. It's going to be a vanilla game. Um, as in, I'm not going to be playing a hack. I'm just going to be playing a vanilla game. But that is giving away like like 5% of the entire Let's Play. Because there's so much more to it than, uh, than just that. Um, but that's my hint to you guys. It's going to be a fourth generation game. It's going to be a vanilla LP. It's not going to be a hack. I suppose there are... I could have done a hack version. But I just sort of would rather not. Because people have been leaving me comments actually asking me to do the vanilla games, and I sort of, I sort of wanted to try a vanilla game out this time, um, and as you guys know, I've talked about it before, I'm gonna be doing some sort of special challenge for it, I'm not gonna reveal that like I said, um, but I am gonna be doing something special, it's not a Nuzlocke, as I said before, which I'm, I'm probably gonna do Nuzlocke eventually, but not this next LP, this next LP I wanna try something out a little bit different, um, do a little bit of a different challenge, this LP I guess I didn't really do a challenge at all, Although I will say, I was considering doing a challenge for this LP, but I guess I sort of decided against it just because I figured the game would be hard enough between the fact that I'm playing on challenge mode and all the additions that Drayana made. I remember playing through this game by last time. I really, really struggled through it. And this time around, I did struggle as well. The Elite Four was hard. Elite Four was very hard. And Champion, Champion Iris, we got lucky with Iris because Robin is such a beast. And Robin just destroyed her with Dragon Dance. But I feel like things would have gotten a lot worse if we hadn't gotten a little bit lucky with, uh, with Dragon Dance and all. And with that, I actually think the credits are pretty much over here, guys. So that is going to do it for this LP of Pokemon Volt Y2. It has been a blast, folks, and I hope to see you again in my next Let's Play.